everybody it is pixel and i'm back for another 50 states video since it's spooky season this one's a little out there but it is on the 50 states menu and it's going to be amazing hopefully this is a collaboration i've been doing with vault girl 145 for almost two years now and it's had amazing results but today's state is going to be connecticut and for that we're going to make mashed potato pizza and for that i'm going to need pizza dough, brussels sprouts, oil, bacon, parmesan cheese, mozzarella cheese, potatoes that I've already boiled, butter, and milk. And I myself have a pizza stone, but if you don't have a pizza stone, a pizza pan is perfectly fine for this. All right, well, you know the drill. Let's get going. All right, our first step is going to be to roll out our dough, which I've done on the stone. And because we have no sauce on this, I'm going to give it a nice drizzle of our oil. And either use your hand or use one of the brushes that I do not have right now to spread it around like so. Okay, we have started mashing our potatoes and I'm going to put some melted butter in there. Put about half of our milk and start mashing it back in together. See what we can make. And just keep putting little intervals of butter or milk. Until you get the creamy consistency you want right, for your potatoes. Other than the oil, our potatoes are going to form a really good base for our pizza as the main course on it. So I'm going to get a good scoop of them. Bring it over here onto the pizza. Start spreading it around. We're going to get the rest of the bowl on here and I'll be right back. Okay, we have piled our potatoes on there and they are all on there. Our next step is going to be to start taking our Brussels sprouts, putting them on the mashed potatoes. Next step is going to be to put the mozzarella over the Brussels sprouts. And then on top of that, we're gonna put a little bit of our bacon And just a very light sprinkle because we already have so much cheese of our parmesan I almost forgot the name now this is going to be going into our oven which is preheated to 450 for probably 14 to 20 minutes just keep an eye on it because you don't want it to burn and we'll be back in a little bit when it's all done all right and it cooked for about 18 minutes and as you can see it's golden brown and i've already sliced into it so let's give it a minute to sit and we'll try okay, it Okay, we got a nice slice of our mashed potato pizza, and we are going to try this out. Oh, wow. It's going to sound weird, but it almost gives you a shepherd's pie feeling only on pizza dough. It's the mashed potatoes mostly. And the bacon gives it a nice salty little kick. And I haven't bitten into one of the Brussels sprouts yet, so let me go find one. There we go. The Brussels sprouts are kind of al dente cooked, you know, where kind of soft, kind of crunchy. For someone who's not very fond of Brussels sprouts, they actually give it a very nice little flavor. Almost like a cabbage kick to it. I don't know how to put this appealingly because it's actually really good. So it has like the shepherd's pie consistency with the kick from the bacon and the almost lettuce-y little pungent um, earthy flavor from the Russell sprouts. I honestly overall really like this and I didn't think I would. Good thing I got like the rest of it to eat over the next three days. <laughs> All right, well, if you have any thoughts, if you ever tried it, have you tried it from Connecticut? If you have any thoughts or ideas that you would have done differently, leave me a like, leave me a comment. 
and keep an eye out for the next 50 states video. See ya!